Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is actually my first actual video on this channel. I've just been posting YouTube shorts, but I've been wanting to make a video on this topic for quite a while now because I feel like I haven't seen that much representation for it online. And I'm sure you guys can see by the title of the video, but basically what I am going to be talking about is how to style an inverted body type inverted triangle body type. Uh, please remember that all body types are beautiful, but at the same time they are different, and I think a great way to elevate your style is to kind of know what suits and flatters your body type best. However, if you don't want your fashion choices to be dictated um, by your body shape, I think that's totally fine. You don't have to do anything that I suggest in this video. But um, if you want your clothing to look like it was really tailored and custom made for your body and body shape, um, just keep watching. So what is an inverted triangle body type? Um, basically, it's where your shoulders and chest are the broadest part of your body um, and you're, you normally have narrower hips as well as little to no waist emphasis. With narrower hips tends to uh, mean a smaller butt and in terms of bust, I don't really think um, this body type necessarily has a specific bust size. You could have a small bust or a large bust, but I definitely think that if you have a larger bust, it will make this body shape more prominent. So I personally have this body type and that's I guess why I feel like able to uh, give some tips on it and yeah I've basically catered my wardrobe to um, clothing that I feel like really flatters my body shape. Now the key to styling this body type is basically balancing your upper half and your lower half. So this means making your shoulders and chest appear narrower and um, having waist emphasis as well as making your hips appear wider. So here I wanted to show the importance of waist emphasis. On the left here's um, a mini skirt, this leather mini skirt, uh, with very little waist emphasis. As you can see, it doesn't really do much for my figure, it just kind of looks like it's on my body um, in comparison to these black leather shorts where I used a belt to really cinch the waist and the leather shorts kind of flare out. So in doing so, it doesn't necessarily give me like an hourglass figure by any means, but it definitely makes my upper half and lower half look more proportional to each other. So yeah, basically what we're gonna be looking for is proportional harmony um, between your upper half and your lower half. So for things like tops, the type of neckline that you choose will actually make a big difference. We want things that kind of like break up the chest area and also find necklines that are more centered towards the middle of your chest. This can mean things like halter tops or maybe like crisscross uh, wrap tops, even asymmetrical tops, even though they are not really concentrated just in the center of your chest, they again like break up the appearance of your shoulders and the broadness, so you definitely look less wide in that area. So I'm sure you can guess that the worst necklines then are necklines that emphasize the broadness of your shoulders and make them appear larger or I guess wider. These are going to be things like off the shoulder tops or maybe like deep scoop neck tops. And um, while there's nothing wrong with these kinds of tops and I have plenty of like off the shoulder bodysuits that I love to wear and I feel really uh, really nice and I think like it's important if that you do wear these kind of tops and you have this body shape um, that you're just mindful of what you pair it with um, so you wouldn't necessarily want to pair something that has already a wider appearance to the shoulders with something that makes the lower half even more narrow like skinny jeans or something you would want something that flares out maybe like flared jeans or just wide leg jeans in general or wide leg pants in general. Um, a type of top that I would recommend specifically are like corset tops, again because they emphasize the waist and especially when paired with something that flares out or is wider, they can really bring all of um, your features into harmony. And if we were living in like the 2010s, um, I would definitely recommend peplum. <laughs> like peplum tops, just like something that flares out. It really helps um, to make everything look harmonious, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, even though, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like peplum is coming back a little bit, which kind of scares me that all the 2010s trends are kind of starting to circle back, but that's besides the point. So for bottoms, I'd say, um, again like straight wide legs are definitely going to be your friend um, and this goes for like jeans, slacks, basically like any long pants. Um, I used to really like my skinny jeans and I still do 
um, but I definitely have realized that longer pants tend to look best on me when they are wide and because they just bring um, more space and more width into my lower half which again I feel like I'm like beating a dead horse here but like creating harmony between your upper and lower half so for dresses uh, what I found is that I think a-line and even like fit and flare dresses are really good to um, again cinch the waist and make the hips look wider even if it's not necessarily like an hourglass figure that's not even necessarily what you have to go for if you want everything to look harmonious um, is really just comes down to width so one of my favorite dresses is from Saturday Club and it's this gorgeous black dress um, it combines a halter top neckline which we discussed before that um, really helps to narrow the look of the shoulders and at the same time it flares out so it really brings all of my features uh, all of my body parts into harmony so for uh, this body type I definitely say like the worst is are like bodycon dresses or for skirts like pencil skirts I think because they just don't really do anything for you um, like I showed earlier with my black leather skirt it just kind of looks like it's on my body but it's not necessarily doing anything for uh, my figure but there is a slight caveat um, I'd say like depending on the pieces that you can find you kind of have to get lucky or just like kind of trial and test run different uh, garments but if you can find pieces that have a wider hip allowance in their design um, I don't know if that really makes sense basically like the way that the dress or the top or the the pants or whatever is sewn together it naturally creates a seam that's wider around the hips and rounded around the hips um, so when you wear it even though you might not actually have those hips to fill out it will just naturally create that appearance and again that's really just based on the design of the garment so if you can find that and I'd say a lot of um, skirts can have that um, you just, yeah, I guess have to like test and try on and see from there. To give you an example, here are two dresses, two black dresses. One of them is this holiday dress that's super sparkly and sequiny and everything, but it's a bodycon dress. Um, and this black dress from Super Down, which I love, it's probably my, like, with the Saturday Club dress, is one of my favorites. But um, as you can tell, they're both bodycon, neither of them are fit and flare, they don't go out after the waist. But um, as you can see, my hips in the um, non-sparkly super down uh, brand dress, the dress just naturally is built rounder at the hips. So like I said, it really depends on the type of dress. So this is just like a general tip if you can find a certain uh, garment that like suits you. It just kind of proves that you can totally still wear bodycon dresses. I mean. Again, you can wear whatever you want, but um, you can still find certain bodycon uh, items. It just depends on how they're constructed. In general, another style that can really work for this body type if you don't want to emphasize your waist um, are things like shift dresses, like the shift dress silhouette, or uh, things like oversized blazers. So basically what these do is they take the competition out uh, between your lower half and your upper half. And in doing so, they really like neutralize your entire figure. As you can see with this Zara blazer, it's basically all shoulders and then just go straight down from there. So although I'm not really emphasizing my waist, I believe it looks very like sleek and because of that very elegant. And I think these kinds of styles can look very nice as well um, because you're not really going for something that's super tight. So if you're not really into things as tight as possible, but you still want something flattering and you have this body type, I think this is definitely a great option. So yeah guys, these are just a couple of the things that I've learned along the way in creating my wardrobe and um, wanting to find pieces that I find really beautiful in and find that really flatter my body. Um, so if you want me to do more videos like this or anything, that uh, is related to dressing for your body shape i can definitely do it so yeah guys make sure to follow me on my socials here's like my instagram tiktok everything i love to post like outfit videos and short form content in general but i don't know i i think i'll start making normal long form uh, youtube videos as well and also if you like any of the items that i've shown in these like little outfit side videos um all of these 
items can be found in my LTK, so if you want to know where to buy them, I got you. But until then, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys!